Vincent Lopez for my Facebook news, Chula Vista. And I'm going to interview a young lady, uh, Nakil Quinones. Her dog died. We're going to find out a little bit more about that. Nyla Quinones. I'm just here trying to inform the community about, um, you know, just to be careful when you take your pets to certain vets and just to always get a second opinion and do your own research for medication. And what happened with your dog? Uh, we, got, we bought our dog here. Uh, was act a little funky, so we were like, let's get him for a checkup, and uh, we bought him here, and they said that he was having seizures, and he was severely anemic, so they put him on uh, prednisone, which um, is contraindicated if you have a enlarged heart or any sort of heart condition, which he did, because he was older, um, but the heart wasn't giving him any problems. Out. What did the doctor tell you about this? That the chances of it happening were kind of small and he didn't feel the need to explain the potential side effects of the medication. He pretty much said, sorry it happens. That was pretty much it. I had him 14 years. 14 years? Yeah. And, What's uh, your dog's name? His name was Giovanni. Giovanni. Nice name. And he, he never asked uh, any records or anything. and. When we took him to the emergency room, we had a real big problem with getting the records to the emergency room the night that he died. Never sent them. I called, the emergency room called, and they sent them the next day after he died. The mistake of our receptionist, she put in the wrong address. That's not a mistake you should make when a dog is in the emergency room. Pets are considered property, and it's really hard to do anything beyond, you know, giving them a... Uh, talking to the veterinary board. You know, kind of letting people know. And I feel I will be out here as long as my heart tells me to be out. So the day I don't feel like coming is the day I won't. I started kind of keeping my own little record with people whose dog has died here. A lot of people, at least eight people, have told me that their dogs have died here. What was the main reason that they gave you? Pretty much just uh, negligence or over medicating. They're Okay, their claim was that they over-medicated? Over-medicated. They even knew that the dog was going to die and they kept having to bring them in just to get them. This is Ed Lopez reporting live from Chula Vista. More canines have pa perished here, alleged over-medicating or other complications that they feel should have been foreseen.